guys, welcome back. I'm Stacy, and today it is all about annuals, annuals, annuals. It is spring and it's almost summer. Yes, believe it or not, even with this chillier weather, it is almost summer. And you know, this is the time of the year that we wanna see color in our containers all season long. And the best way to do that is always with annuals, guys. I know that we always get really creative and we always mix and match and we put together annuals and perennials. This time we actually are sticking with just annuals, but we still got really creative and you can do the same. We got a little creative with our pots. We actually picked pots that are in the same color scheme, this kind of gray tone, but we're mixing and matching. We did some rattan, some metal. You could even add in sort of a gray ceramic pot. As long as you keep the tone of your pots similar, you can really mix and match and get creative. And then on top of it, we kept the tone of our flowers similar. So here we have sort of a purple tone with a little bit of whites and deep greens. And I think that this looks so elegant. Could you imagine sitting out on the patio and looking at these containers made up all season long with color or walking home after a hard day at work and seeing these on your front stoop? They would look so lovely. So don't be shy with annuals. Get super, super creative and think out of the box a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant up this last metal tin. This has a different shape. It has a nice oval shape to kind of complement these round pots. It's a really good idea to kind of change up your shapes. And in here, I put in this black satin petunia. Yes, petunias are kind of a standard annual, but this black satin one is really different. And I don't know if people really think to use it or really know how to use it. So we've decided to put this black satin one with some of these white plants. If you notice behind this black satin petunia is this really pretty osteo daisy. I love this. This is called Soprano White, but it has this deep purpley tone that really pulls out the black satin of this petunia. So that's a really lovely plant. I have a little too much soil as always. And then, you know, I was really trying to get away from using this Diamond Frost Annual, but you just can't, guys. This is one of those go-to plants that looks good in every single container. So I love Diamond Frost. It's a perfect filler. It's one of Darlene's, our greenhouse manager's favorite plants and it just complements any plant. It adds kind of a light airiness to it and it blooms all season long. Then let's add a little texture in and just color. This is really not known for its bloom. This is Persian Shield, but it is so stunning. That purple, deep, velvety tone also complements that satiny purple color of the petunia. So I'm gonna tuck this in in the side. And then of course I have to scoop out. I always get a little overzealous with my soil. I have to scoop out a little of this soil because the last thing I want to add in, which is really neat for a really good filler. You know, we always talk about fillers. This is a great filler. This is fiber app optic grass. Okay, I told you a few of the really cool annuals that we have that are a little bit different, but remember there are about five basic rules to annual plant care. And they're really simple if you follow these rules. What you want to do is number one is have a really good well-draining potting soil. It is very important that you use potting soil because it has to be well-draining. Number two is placement of your annuals. Now I happen to pick pots that all have sun annuals in them, but you can also pick annuals that are for shade as well. But these need to be in full sun to really thrive. Number three is watering. Guys, when we get to the hot summer, you might need to water these pots every single day for them to really stay beautiful and keep really abundantly blooming. You don't want them to be soggy, but they do need to feel damp daily. Number four, this is really important, so important for annuals, I can't stress this enough, fertilize the heck out of them. You only want them for one season, so really go for it, guys. Be aggressive, get tons of bloom out of them. The way that you start is you always wanna start with an all-purpose granular fertilizer. You start that with your initial planting, or if this is already planted up for you, you just sprinkle it on the top. About two months later, you're going to apply this one more time, and you might get in one more application two months after that. This is gonna be that slow feed that is perfect, perfect for the plants. But then what you really wanna do is always use the blue bloom booster. Every two weeks, you can follow up. Yes, every two weeks through the whole season, just bloom boost the heck out of these plants and then they will just give you flowers all season long. The last and really important thing is deadheading. Deadheading and giving them a little haircut. It's actually okay to do. 
Some of these plants, especially petunias, can get kind of leggy and they can flow over the side. You know what? It's actually okay to cut them, cut them back. You know how it's good to trim our own hair and it gives it a little bounce back? The same thing with petunias. So here we are guys, annuals, annuals, annuals. They are beautiful. They'll give you color all season. Thanks a bunch. See you next time.